Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a card that is from an anime called Symphogear. I think I said that correctly. And the name of the card is Chris. I do not know how to say the last name. I am sorry, guys. Please don't shoot me. And it's coming in from Kyle. So before I go ahead and read the message aside, Kyle's email, send me custom cards over to vhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Now, I blurred the entire email uh, because I'm not good at separating blur boxes because his Discord user is inside of the email. Um, so uh, yeah, let's just go and just read the email real quick and get to the card. So Kyle says, hi, I'm gonna just uh, show a banner unit that I made for a crossover campaign. I said that I made, I mean, I'm inserting words, but hey, it's really whatever. With an anime called Simpo Gear, it's pretty niche to be honest. And the whole campaign is meant as a post ninth Annie campaign. So if it's broken, that's on me. The whole thing is basically a massive heavy gals buff as in my, I hope I say this word correctly, Toho campaign. I am trying to work on, but this is more fun. I'll split between two units to show, LOL, both from those campaigns. But here is one of the headliners from part one of the Sinfo Gear X Dokkan crossover campaign. And the rest is pretty much related to Discord, so I'm just going to leave it out. And he says, have a nice day. So, um, I'm having a good day so far. I hope you're having a good day, Kyle. And as well as everybody's watching this video. Let's just go ahead and go straight into it. So, I went ahead and just, you know, added a picture of what the, the, the character from the anime looks like in her, I guess, little... Yeah, she's on Transformation Boost in her pre-transformation, that being her little base form. And then her post-transformation, I don't know how to say this word, but I'm just going to say transformed Chris. I'm just going to leave it at that. So... Um, let's just go straight into it. So, uh, so out for a test drive, Chris, uh, Extreme SDR, and the leader skill for this card is Worthy Rivals, Transformation Boost, or Final Trump card 3 key, 170% across the board, and the additional 30% of the stats is two Miraculous Awakening, or Accelerated Battle, and this is the 200% skill for this card. Um, UI, the Gammas, Broly, AGL Frauds, um, Trash Ass, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, love him, love these two cards, I really do. But, man, they age like dirt. I love them, but we'll wait for the easy A's in 2028. Um, of course, we have uh, Beastless Gohan. Um, we have uh, Dookie Giant Ape Vegeta and Dookie Kyle Ken Goku. Um, uh, seventh year um, Super Saiyan 4s. Janemba, who needs an easy A. We have, of course, Evolution Blue Vegeta. Great. Um, STR Vegito, solid. Um, Tech Vegito, you can still get some users out of. I like to say i assume um of course fear of or goku in some situations this guy hell no this guy i guess in these situations you can make something funky happen but even then he really can't tank normal so hell no this guy hell no this guy no no you can make something happen in a little funky like a little nuking take the boss off the map scenario hell no um maybe i don't, know. Um, I don't remember exactly what this card does i'm being honest <laughs> um dragon fist of course um th these two guys i mean this guy in the right scenario sure i'm gonna skip over a card for that you could probably activate his passive but yeah that's gonna be about it um there are some options you can run on this team but this team is not really too loaded it's not really too loaded um there's a couple of top heavy um cards that you can run this team but outside of that i mean yeah that's not gonna happen anyways these are the stats for my stat junkies i'll just go ahead and just stop here for a second if anybody wants to pause and go and grab these up and calquow you know you're watching the video shout out to santa by the way inside my uh discord server join the 24 7 discord server by the way now uh, these my numbers guy so passive working under false uh um pret <laughs> senses <laughs> oh my god this is my numbers guy i've never had the numbers guy I had no numbers guy like ever accurate interest animation once only uh when facing an enemy who belongs to either bond of friendship or peppy gals okay 162% attack and defense, as well as additional 62% attack and defense facing only one enemy. Nice. And additional 62% attack and defense performing a super attack. Nice. And raises defense by 26% up to 260% with every attack performed or dodge. Holy hell. And 31% damage reduction. And she also gets an additional 31% damage reduction if facing a bond of friendship category enemy. So you want to face a bond of friendship category enemy so she can get her little interest animation thing off. Um, I mean, well, there's no buff there. There's no buff from her interest animation. So you just want to face a bond of friendship enemy for that additional damage reduction. It shows it builds up 6% damage reduction every time an attacker is received. Um, there's no cap there. Uh, Kyle um kyle let me let me go ahead and phone home real quick kyle um hello yes 
Uh, there's no cap there. So can she just infinitely build up damage reduction? Um, oh, she could. Oh, okay. All right. Guys, Kyle said that, uh, she can infinitely build up damage reduction because she increased her damage reduction by 6% every time an attack is received. So is this similar to the eighth years where they just build up key infinitely? Okay. And, uh, with every turn that, <laughs> that passes that the character does not attack, she gets an additional 6% damage reduction up to 62%. <laughs> character does not have to be on rotation for this to occur. What the? Yo. So, what? Huh? What? Okay, you don't have to face a bond of friendship character. Because, um, as the fight goes on, this damage reduction goes up. And, uh... If the map serves me correctly, her baseline 31% damage reduction, you put that on top of her fully built up 62% damage reduction, and is that 93% damage reduction? I'm, I'm hoping I'm doing the math correctly. That's pretty crazy. And she also gets a 70% chance to dodge and heals 12% HP of total HP at the end of the turn after dodging an attack. Bro, what the fucking hell bro a 70 percent chance to dodge but up to 93 percent damage <laughs> and performs a guarantee super every time two attacks are received in the same turn activates twice bro what can't not attack if it's an enemy named uh fine or fine i guess like fine something like a little like a wee wee you know okay so explanation okay we got the explanation Okay, maybe the phone in was maybe it was a little i don't know so explanation basically the way this unit works is that it loses damage reduction on hit huh wait loses damage reduction on hit right okay let me just keep reading but the armor this character is wearing heals itself and the user in the anime okay so the way I worked that into it was that you can kill the enemy and the unit gets the damage reduction back since you weren't able to attack. I also made it so you can float the unit off and every turn it's gone, it gets an extra 18% damage reduction back. That's very crazy. Also, the last line is kind of having to do with the character's backstory. And yeah, I, I could assume that. Why? Don't ask me. Watch Sinful Gear. <laughs> I don't know if you like this unit so far, but I thought it was kind of cool. I tried to lean into the personality of the character a lot more. So you're telling me this card loses damage reduction on hit, but if this character heals it back, just like an anime. That's cool. It's very original to the anime. I've never seen anime, but you know, as it says, it was that you can kill the enemy and then get the damage reduction back that you weren't able to attack. I do like the design of the unit. Creative. Creative and strong. It's getting that 70% chance to dodge. Like, what would... <laughs> so, did I read something incorrectly since she loses damage reduction? It says reduces damage received by 31%. And you get an additional 31% damage reduction when facing a bond of friendship category enemy. This is interesting. And then reduces damage received by up to 6%. Up to 62%. Character does not have to be on a rotation for this to occur. Um, getting up to 18% damage reduction just for her floating. That's very, that's very good. That makes her a very strong floater. Very strong floater. So damage reduction, guard, healing, um, additional super attacks just built into her. Of course, two plus. Uh, we're looking good. I don't know. Uh, and additional attack and defensive buff on super and her passive. Looking good. Um, and of course, she loses her DR, according to Kyle. But, I mean, she gets it back. So, that's obviously nice. With that dodge chance. And the heal. So, W. Creative. Clever. Love the design. I like it. I like it a lot. So, our super attack. Uh, that she just gets 50% attack for one turn. And stacks defense. While doing immense damage up, bro. Um, two additional attacks. Um, of course, two additional super attacks. That being. Every time this character receives two attacks in the same turn. Um, so, this card can do up to four plus supers. Did I skip on over a super? And she builds up two... Up to 260% even. <laughs> oh, pinche, what the fuck? Bro, look at that. <laughs> Brother. All right, and her awakening uh, has a little active skill OST. Okay, so um, editing dev, we are at almost 10 minutes in the video. Uh, if this gets cut out, I'm gonna leave a little quick uh, silence so I know. 
Hope you guys are doing good, by the way. That's kind of, it's kind of hard. I like it. I like it. I don't normally listen to OSTs like that, right? But I like it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, let's continue on to the awakening. So effect switches to, I do not know how to say this word. Conditions can be activated when HP 62% or lower or after receiving three attacks in balance. You just receive three attacks and she just transforms immediately. Okay. So uh, we got Chris transformed. Uh, <laughs> passive, a hatred of song. <laughs> Now known, 262% attack and defense, and she gets 162% attack and defense performing a super attack. Very nice. Effective against all types for free. 62% damage reduction, and with each attack received, she gets an additional 7% damage reduction. What? Up to 62? And lowers all enemies' defense by 6% up to 12% if the enemy is super class. Every time an attack, including a super attack, is received okay and 12 percent attack and defense per existing enemy all right so if you're going against multiple enemies she does a bit more damage and has a bit more defense um she changes physical key spheres to str and with every two key uh yes yeah, and with every two key spheres obtained she gets she gets all allies 31 percent attack and defense okay whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait that doesn't stack right no that doesn't stack no it doesn't and self-exclude it and up to twice within the turn um, I mean, if that stacks, that's pretty crazy. Then that'd be up to 62% attack defense. Okay. Um, it says up to twice within the turns. I like to assume it stacks up to twice. Okay. Launches an additional super attack, uh, per STR key sphere obtained up to four. Do keep in mind she's changing orbs and she gets 62, reduces damage by 62% and guards with six key spheres obtained. Um, uh, uh, Kyle, um, I thought, I thought this character is, uh, um, uh, uh, hello we have what's this we have 62 percent damage reduction and with each attack received she gets additional 62 percent damage reduction um is, is she supposed to be taking 62 percent more damage um like how it says right over here it loses dr on hit um or does that is is that just 62 plus 62 uh damage reduction like fully built up that's crazy crazy it's strong um, gets up to four plus supers from four str keys just obtained giving support creating orbs to get those additional supers uh i i just I guard with so hold on guys let's step back for a second let's step back for a second so in the right scenario let's just think about this, put our thinking caps on right damage reduction on the defensive end what is she getting so in the right condition if I'm correct, because she has 62% damage reduction here, builds up to 62% damage reduction right here. No, it says increases damage received. Okay. Okay. But, um, uh, you get lucky. You can still get this. I, I'm just, I'm just terrible at reading. I'm, I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Okay. I'm terrible at reading. Increases damage received. Okay. All right. But even then, um, she can still get the damage reduction back. So she'll, she can lose that damage reduction. Every time, oh, okay, I read that completely wrong. Okay, okay, okay. But even then, let's say on the first turn, this card's not taking any attacks yet. Let's let's just say we're in a perfect scenario, and she hasn't taken any attacks to reduce her damage reduction, right? So, um, this card can get up to what's that? Let's say you get those six STR key spheres. She can do. Four supers. Wait, hold on. She gets an attack and defensive buff from her past her super attack because she's greatly stacking attack and gaining 50% defense one turn while doing an AoE super and sealing all enemies. Okay. So, um, so let's just, let's break it down. So an attack and defensive buff from her past her super attack effect. She can get up to, if my math is correct, she can get up to, what's that? That's 144? That's 100? No. No, no, no. That's, that's way, that's way off. That's 124. That's yeah, 124. Because of course, 6 plus 6 is obviously 12. Yeah. Simple math. That's 124% damage reduction. Of course, an attack defensive buff from a passive super attack effect. Effective against all types. Orb changing to directly support or being able to support the rotation as well as being able to do 4 plus supers. And guard. 122% damage reduction. And no, 124. 124% damage reduction and guard. With four plus supers, effective against all types, supporting, and getting an attack and defensive buff from her pass to her super attack pack. And do keep in mind she's greatly stacking attack, so she can do up to six plus supers. Do your first one, you do your additional four 
from her kit and you just do another one from your potential system all right <laughs> oh man excuse my bad reading kyle i didn't realize that this was her taking damage over here so am i crazy and i overlooked this part of her car too um i don't think so yeah because she still it still says reduces damage received by 31 percent and additional 31 percent damage reduction if you're facing a bond of okay and increases damage received by 60 percent okay yeah there it is there it is okay i was reading the card wrong put my hands up you got me you got me. yeah up to 62 percent um character does not okay wait yeah because she's yeah, but she gets it all back. Yeah, the explanation. Okay, you got me, Kyle. I I, I read it correctly. I'm a Dragon Ball fan. I'm sorry. Categories. Peppy Gals, Corroded Body and Mind, uh, Transformation Boost, Android. She's on so many goddamn categories. Crossover, Celebrated Battle, All Out Struggle, Youth, Full Power, Worthy Rivals, Final Trump Card, Miraculous Awakening, Powerful Comeback, Earthlings, Earthbred Fighters, Power of Wishes, Time Limit, and Simple Gear category. Interesting. Her links are Mechanical Menaces, Battlefield Diva, Prepare for Battle, uh, I mean, she looks prepared for battle, so it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, what, what else? Uh, big bad bosses. She's extreme. She is. Oh, oh, okay. Fierce battle, cold judgment. Um, so she only has six links. Yeah, she has six links. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Anyways, um, is there anything bad I could point out about this card? Um, I I can't really say. Card's very creative. Very creative card. Um. The only thing is, is that her losing damage reduction, her pre-transformation, will that affect her being able to stack her defense? Hmm. So, yeah, you really do want to face that bond of friendship character, or else you just want to be floating this card off to build up that defense. But even then, you get to this form, and she's just, like, low-key pretty crazy. Okay, that's about it. Kyle, thank you for sending your card. W card. Love the design. I love the design because it's very, it's creative towards the anime. That's, that's dope. That's dope. Like, this is like these are the kind of custom cards I strive for. This is this is cool. This is definitely pretty cool. And you can't attack if you're facing the specific enemy that's from the anime. I like this. Home. Don't hack me. Watch Simple Gear. <laughs> Kyle tells me to watch Simple Gear. Should I watch Simple Gear? I appreciate you guys watching. You guys the best. Send me custom cards over to BHF Custom Cards at gmail.com to get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all of these recent custom cards out the way. W card. Um, OSTs W. Hope it doesn't get hit by Toei Ninjas, but yeah. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys. I absolutely love you all again. Peace.